Hi everybody, my name is Irene Thompson and welcome to Stampin' Addicts. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Do you remember the card I did using the Stamparatus with the stamp? I had them all stacked on top of each other. Super simple card. Well, today we're using the die cuts or the thinlets as they have it in the book. So we're using thinlets from the Dashing Deer and we're using the words from Merry Christmas to All. How cool is that? And we're also using some paper that is <clears throat> actually the DSP that is from um, the only way you can get it is if you host. So if you host and everybody spends over 250 you get this dashing deer DSP actually it's called dashing along you get it free so this is what it looks like and this is what we're using to highlight the thinlet because we're going to use the outline of the thinlet instead of using the deer from the thinlet we're going to use the other side so this is one of the sheets. You get four of them. So you get um, four of each pattern. And the, as you can tell, they're double-sided. So it's four of each, which gives you a total of 12 sheets. Isn't that nice? And these uh, stamp sets are both in the holiday catalog. So if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your creative coach and uh, give you fun projects and share special offers and teach you techniques and all about fantastic stamping products, which is Stampin' Up. We love our Stampin' Up. So, okay, the colors that we're using is green, garden green, and cherry cobbler. We're also going to be using this. Um, tinsel. It's called mini tinsel. It was in the clearance section so I hope you got some. It comes in two colors. It comes in two to a pack. It's actually right here. So and it's called mini tinsel trim. So I hope you got some because that's what I'll be using. Okay so I have cherry cobbler that I'm using for the base which is four and a half or four and a fourth by five and a half and of course I took an eight and a half by eleven sheet and cut it in half and then scored it at four and a fourth and then I'm using whisper white and that I am did cut two of them at four and an eighth by five and three eighths so it gives a ninth fourth of a gives a fourth of a border so I'm using that for the inside because if you noticed on the inside of it, I put an expression with this being such a dark, you know, this cherry cobbler is pretty dark. So I figured we'll put whisper white inside and put that beautiful saying in it. And that comes from the Merry Christmas to all. All the stamps are used from the Merry Christmas and the die cut is from the Dashing Deer. So just so you know. I took the die and I ran it through the big shot. So there's our deer that I want. And we will take that and put the DSP under it. So I'm going to run some tape after I stamp everything because I'd rather have it stamped before I start putting stuff under it. Or at least before we start assembling. Because we can mess up. Things can happen done it. <laughs> Nobody's perfect, that's for sure. So I'm hoping you guys are liking my videos. I do appreciate you watching them. Let's see. I think we will do the inside of it first, and we're using Cherry Cobbler. And I'm putting it up towards the top, centered. There we go. Then I'm going to do the wishing 
first. See how it's down on the bottom of the card? So I'm going to do that first. And I'll do that in the cherry cobbler. Just kind of centered it in the corner. And then the Christmas is in the garden green. I just love that font. Even the font in this is just gorgeous. And then I'll set that right on top here. Beautiful, beautiful. I am using one stamp from the Dashing Deer, and that's this little flower right here. And I will do that in Cherry Cobbler. Just run it in three spots around the deer. There we go. Now let's assemble these away first. Alright, so I'm going to take my tape runner and run it around the deer because we want all those pieces to go down and not flip up because it is, you know, it's a thin lid and it's got small spaces, small pieces. And we are using the opposite of the cut. I know there's a word for it, but uh, it's not registering right now. So now we'll set that right on top of our DSP. Make sure the whole deer gets in there. Perfect. Since I have it here, I will put my little rhinestones on. I'm going to put them in the middle of each flower. There we go. Now I will double side tape it. Put one in each corner. What a quick and easy card. You always wonder what to do with all the, the pieces when you cut and you get what you want. Oops, I have it down too far here. Let me trim this off a little bit. See, like I said, nobody's perfect. <laughs> Thank goodness for scissors. <laughs> all right. I think I might get one in the center. There we go. And then this will leave about a fourth, the way I cut it is to leave a fourth of a border all the way around. Just like that. How nice. And then this should have the inside should be the same way with a fourth. Cherry cobbler just pops off this whisper white. There we go. I think I am gonna. There. All right. Now it's our. We're gonna make our little bow. I think it kind of sets it off, gives it a little extra pizzazz. We love our bling. <laughs> At least our glittery stuff. And who doesn't love tinsel? At least this one won't be getting all over the house. There we go. What a nice bow. And we'll snip it. Some little tails, not too big. There we go. There it is. There we go. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you're having an awesome day. And uh, at the
the end, at near the end of my video, probably about right now, you'll see a picture of me pop up. And I would love if you like my tutorials to subscribe and then hit the little button with the bell so whenever I do something it will show up in your information box letting you know what's new out there and I'm hoping it'll be a new one from me so thanks for watching you guys have an awesome day and uh, we'll talk to you later bye